Over the last several weeks, almost all of the states in the United States and many countries around the world have, quote, began to open up. And what we mean by that is relaxing some of the non-pharmacologic interventions. Uh, things like how many people can gather. Can you, uh, with appropriate social distancing, have dinner in a restaurant with family and friends? What about church, choir practice, small athletic events, and things along those lines? And unfortunately, what we've seen is that in many of the states, now as many as half of the states across the country, we've seen a resurgence in the number of cases of COVID-19. We've seen a resurgence in the number of positive tests, uh, the percentage of positive tests. And more concerning than that, we've seen a number of increases in hospitalizations, intensive care unit uh, utilization, and even the number of individuals placed on ventilators. We continue to monitor that data really carefully. And so while the thought might be back to business as usual, pretend all of this never happened, from a very practical perspective, that's not going to be possible. And I would suggest even when we get to the point of an effective vaccine and effective and safe antiviral treatments, we're still going to have to maintain that abundance of caution. So I ask and I constantly advise my friends and my family and all who listen to me, uh, please continue to practice physical distancing. Please continue to wash your hands, wear your face protection. And most importantly, if you're ill, your family member is ill, stay home, pick up the phone, let your health professional know or your local public health office. Do all of those things. At the end of the day, we're going to be protecting our community and we're going to be getting back to the new normal even faster.